good morning, good day, uh, bienvenue, uh, guten tag. Uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, still in the black and white work, uh, how to control contrast and density using a couple of quick tricks here in Photoshop. Um, we're working with one layer at the moment, your background layer. This is just a very basic little um, monochrome conversion I've done. Um, what I want to do with this is to uh, duplicate this layer. So we do Control-J or Command-J on the Mac, don't forget. Or we can drag it down there to the little layer icon on the bottom there. And that will uh, give you a duplicate layer of your background. See, we turn it on and off, nothing happens because it's in normal blend mode. And really, uh, we're going to play around with blend modes and opacities and another little panel. We're going to be looking at this group of blending modes and that group of blending modes. Uh, first up, of course, we're going to have a look at multiply. Overall, it'll multiply the value of the pixels underneath by itself. So your uh, light areas come in a bit darker, your dark areas get very dark. We can play with the opacity. Really doesn't do an awful lot for the image. Um, but I'd like to use some of that um, blending mode um, by doing something uh, tricksy. And we can go here. Well, let's go to the layer. Uh, drop down menu and go straight to layer style. And if we go into blending options, it'll call up a panel, or you can double click in the blue area and that'll bring up this panel here. All right, it's a bit confusing, lots of information there, lots of stuff we could use. Uh, we will use in later tutorials. You can see there it's replicating the fact that it's multiply and also the percentage opacity. And I'll just drag that one down to show that actually it's flexible. We can use that in there, uh, it'll affect the layer that we're working on. And I should avoid any of this um, till later date. Um, just ignore it. Stick a sticking plaster over it or something. <laughs> Try not to look at it. You can play in it, but really we're more interested in this blend if down at the bottom here on this layer. This layer, that layer, and this layer. So let's just move this over here and I'll show you what this can do. And this is going to knock out pixels in the active layer. So that's the layer with, which is highlighted in blue. And if you just mouse down and drag this across, you can see that it's knocking out the lighter pixels. You can see that little slider itself is is white. And if we go to the black one and just mouse down again, that will be knocking out the darker pixels. So just dark pixels, light pixels. Let's just do a little bit of uh, sliding here with the slides and click OK. And you can see there that it's um, knocked out those lighter pixels and we just mouse off on the background layer you can see what's happened it's reduced the amount of uh, pixels we've got reduced opacity in there of course as well um, but it's taken out some of the pixels and the good thing about this uh, layer style box is don't forget double click on there and it'll open up it's sticky but if we hold the alt or the option key down when we're mousing down it'll split those sliders and we'll get a better gradation of tonality in there so let's click this back on again and you can see there once we work in this layer style box you can't go back in and switch it on so click that off go back in there again and you can see what's happening you're getting a better bit of control over your toning in your image so double click in there again again it's one of those things to play around it. it's a sticky memory in this kind of thing so once you've done it once the, the uh, slides stay in the same place you can come back to it at a later date uh, irrespective of how many layers you've got built up over the top of it. Uh, let's just knock some of this dark out. You can see there, you can take it, almost take it into the white area. I'm still working at 87% here, so let's have a look at the preview on and off. So, a very flexible method of uh, working, and very simple. Once you get into this groove, we're just doing a duplicate layer. You can see there, there's not an awful lot of uh, pixels there, but because of the blend mode, it's multiplying up on the pixels below. Um, one of the things you can do, let's just put that back on again, is play around with blend modes. Now that's multiply. Um, hard light. You might find that, you know, hard light, multiply. I sometimes do um, multiply, uh, hard light first, sorry, um, just to see what your results are. It's flexible. Don't forget that. And if you do that, you can come back in the sliders. Like I said before, it's got sticky memory. Easy enough. Have a preview, see what it looks like. Very subtle little change there. Don't forget you've also got your opacity. And you can see there we've just boosted up a bit of um, contrast in there. We've also controlled the contrast. We've uh, decided where it's going to go by using the sliders, whether in the dark areas or light areas. Uh, and don't forget as well that with this, let's just go down to the sliders again, you can actually move the slider from the bottom as well. So it's, the slide doesn't have to be fixed in any point whatsoever. You can slide those two slides around, um, determine where you want your darks and your lights to be affected. 
uh, play around forever actually <laughs> if you really want to uh, and uh, it's just a way of doing some after work on your monochromes thanks again uh, until the next time bye for now